you had to leave though Sell that beautiful ego You're the only thing you know Hey, yeah, hey Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. It looks like it's gonna storm in my area, but I am the last to leave my Goodwill. Okay guys, just a little bit of background. I had 20 minutes to go thrifting. I wanted to film it, but I wanted to show you what I got in 20 minutes and the best tips on getting things in a short amount of time. And I just wanted to do this short video. I went into Goodwill for literally 20 minutes. I walked in, I kid you not, at um, 6.41 or 42. And they just closed at seven. Love that Goodwill and they are closed. I just thought I would hop on a quick video. I did a style try on on my Soulful Chic Finds Instagram. Definitely go check it out. Um, I thrift certain things. Based on what I get during the week, I will make a video on um, what I got and I will style it. So what did I find in 20 minutes? First and foremost is God. Almighty Father is just so good. I'm just try to dedicate my life any way I can to Christ. Okay, let's just say that. Can't take credit. So I go in here and I just say, God, help me find what you need me to find. Sometimes I find great stuff. Sometimes I find mediocre stuff. Sometimes it takes me an hour. Sometimes it takes me 20 minutes. So I didn't get to hit the jeans. I regret that. I should have gotten to the jeans sooner. I stayed in tops too long. So it was 20 minutes before closing. So I spent about 10 of the 20 minutes in shirts. Um, they have a lot of rows of tops. In the past, I've found you know, a lot of free people. What is key when you thrift, at least from my experience being two years um, as a reseller, and it's my majority of income, focus less, I guess, on the FOMO, like the fear of missing out. It's like an acronym. Focus on what areas you can target. You're not gonna hit everything. There's There was gems I left behind, I'm sure. Right in tops, about 10 minutes in tops. Next to tops was a go back rack. The lady ended up taking the go back rack from the dressing room to the back. I guess they disinfected. I was so upset. So my mistakes were not hitting jeans sooner because I went to jeans last, AKA or slash staying in tops too long and then not hitting that go back rack. I really regret that because people try stuff on. A lot of times I at least find one good thing in the go back rack. There were no new racks coming out. It was at closing. My tips have always been, you know, check the new tags, go the go back rack, 30 minutes or less. Um, I kind of start in the shoes. So I went to shoes first and they don't ever really have good shoes here, but this brand caught my eye. It was Club Nico, had the K and these just look like you know your like basic shoe right you know steve madden or even like your lower end shoe but um i noticed they had the mate if you ever see the made genuine leather or the made in italy on the bottom um what i noticed not those first i actually got another pair of these brand i noticed these this is club nico now that logo doesn't look like anything special but i saw i looked up there's comps like 75 bucks so Sorry, I got a missed call. Um, I'm meeting someone for dinner and they're getting sushi. So they don't ask me what I get and I don't even know. So anyway, caught my eye, which was quality. So it had quality. So if I'm gonna crunch a time, if I find one, I usually go to one general area, just one, whether it be shoes, tops, jeans, shirts, whatever. Um, I usually just kind of go quickly through the whole rack, usually with smalls, larges, mediums. Um, I don't really start with extra large, which I should, but I typically don't find a lot of good stuff in extra large. I typically find a lot of good stuff in small and medium, like designer stuff. Um, large once in a while. Once in a while, someone in the large will just donate their whole closet, just depending on what they put out. And keep in mind, large is a very, is a more popular sought after size, so you tend to find less. So why I did that is because if I find one thing in the store that is maybe high end, um, I'm sorry, I started with purses. So their purses have always gotten me good money. So I started with purses, found a couple of good bags, but not anything either overpriced or wasn't comps. But I did pick up this Bagolini. I have another one I need to list, so I'm gonna list them together. Bagolini, typically you can get, you know, 20, you know, a couple bucks. So this one just needs to go through the wash, but they were asking um, four bucks. So I just grabbed that because I can get 25 on that once I clean that up. So start with the bags because I know what's good there. So start with the area that you've had success before at the store, if it's an old, um, you know, frequent store for you. Second, check shoes. Shoes tend to be higher profit, so I did check shoes. I was just scrolling. There was a lot of Steve Madden. There was a lot of Splendid, you know, Nordstrom brands. It was, a, it was some good brands, but nothing that caught my eye. I'm very picky. I want something that's like Saludos or Dance Goes or, you know, something I know I'm gonna get 35 more or more. This one doesn't have symbol, but it said made in Spain. So I'm still looking through shoes. I don't stop, I'm going, going, going. But I said, let me just scroll my phone. Club Nico, I spelled it wrong. There was like four comps. I was like, oh, it is not sung good enough. 
but then I saw one comp was like 75 bucks or something. I said, let me look into this. Oh, it's with a K. You know, I switched the letters around from a C to a K because club is spelled with a C, right? This is a K. So I did that and then I saw comps were good. So I didn't even think, I just threw them in my cart. I remember seeing another pair of them and I kept going and then I said, oh, I need to find the other pair. So because they were seven bucks, their normal price, grab those. So if you would have seen some shoes, a good size, great brand, brand new or like new or whatever condition that you like, go and look for the rest of them. I will sit and look just an extra five minutes longer for the rest of those shoes because where there's one, there's usually more, um, usually. I've gotten a whole pile of someone's whole closet of shoes, brand new. So that just goes to show you, it might be worth it. Yeah, you may skip out on going through tops. You might skip out five or 10 minutes in another area, but you know that you found gold. Second, I went to, or third, I went to the tops, spent too much time in the tops, but I looked through each top size, just kind of on each rack, um, just going really fast, looking down though, don't skip just the top, go and look, because well, some of the best brands, um, like one of my favorite sales, Ace and Jig, like they'll put their stuff inside, deep down in the side of the tag, okay? A lot of like St. John, some of that stuff is in the side tag, so don't always skip that, feel quality, right? Just go, something catches your eye, you're a reseller, you know what you sold before. Something catches your eye, something quality. Look for it, it's raining, sorry guys. Next up, I knew I needed to hit the men's section. I came here a while ago and I remember the men's section being so good. I just kept getting hit after hit. And I found men, Lululemon pants and the women's before. Their pants tend to be really do really well. So why I went to the pants last, I don't know. Dresses are the least of my favorite here. I have found some good dresses i found like c new york um stuff but i 90 percent of the time go through all the dresses and i maybe get one so i've hit again the areas that are going to be most profitable and the most reliable in this location if it's a new location i would say go to each different area like bit by bit because you don't want to miss out i found stuff you know in bra you know bras you know like sports bras i found stuff in the leggings maybe the rest of the store was dry but i found the midsection was nice or maybe the shoes were horrible, but the purses were amazing. I went to the men's. This is my next tip. Check only the new tags. Yes, I said it, only the new tags. The new tags that came out that week, if they have it. You want the stuff that's been less picked over, and that includes the new tags. Now, I have found some good half-off stuff, really good half-off stuff, but mostly it's the new tags. So this Travis Matthew caught my, I love to sell it, especially on eBay, for my eBay sellers, and they were in decent condition. Check condition, I didn't really check condition, because I was in a hurry. And they were saying 10, five minutes until we close. So I just throw stuff. So I said, okay, what size were these? They were men's large. So I said, I'm going through all larges. So I went through each large t-shirt real quick of men's, little men's large pants. Guys, I just got another call. Like, do people just know when you're busy? Anyways, so Travis Matthew, I know I'm gonna get 30, 30 on that, okay? Then I said, okay, Travis Matthew, that person knows style, right? So I went through all the large shorts right next to it. Um, this rip tag, I noticed the tag looked like Lululemon, but it was really worn. I can't see it. So just to double check, I turn the shorts around and they're pretty good condition. They had that Lululemon tag and I have another pair of men's, two other pairs of men's I like to put them together. So bow, got that right. Went through the rest of the shorts, nothing good. Went through more tops, which I shouldn't have because I didn't find any tops except this one that I thought were worth it. This is Ariat and again, new tag. So was I looking at other tags? Of course, yeah, I'm going through looking at everything, but was I like, when they kept saying five more minutes, four more minutes, you know, I just went to the new tags. This would be the only exception. I got a pair of J Crew, which is new tag. Um, at the end when she was checking me out with everything, I went through the jeans while she was checking me out. Now that's not typical, but I wanted to buy time and she was taking her slow time. So I went right next, it's right next to me was the jeans. Um, could have looked at the tops, probably should have done the tops like that. But I looked through the jeans. These are size 24. I'm kind of regretting how small these are. There's gonna be a very hard sale, but they were $8, but they were half off blue ends tomorrow or the day after. So I said, you know what? These won't be on sale. And they were in excellent condition, J new J Crew. I thought they were so cute, but yeah, 24 is hard. Um, and I don't know, I gotta check, make sure they haven't been him, but I didn't get to go through the jeans or the dresses, guys, or the jackets, and I was like having heart palpitations. You're gonna feel like you missed out. Oh, you know what? I did make a faux pas. This is, learn from my mistakes. This shirt, it has a rip in it. See that? This Ariat shirt, what I'm gonna do is, because, you know, I do value my business, I don't do this a lot, but I'm gonna keep the tag on it, keep the receipt in the bag, right? Keep the receipt in the bag I spent 
um 40 bucks that's a lot of money so i'm gonna keep that and so i'm just gonna exchange that for a pair of jeans and get jeans half off so there you go learn from my mistake i just noticed it had a hole but it had beautiful embroidery i thought four bucks i can flip it for 24 i usually get 25 bucks quick video i just wanted to come and say hi i hope you guys are doing well being blessed still trying to sell down my inventory i have again a virtual assistant i have someone helping me share helping um might have some more resources to help me a list the items as well so i can get more sold um because i do think we need to tighten up on our wallets guys for real i'm really serious about that um but a quick one and i have this in my car from yesterday a new to me brand it's called briggs and riley definitely look out for that brand like the comps were good i think there's like a mark on it though i'm gonna have to wipe it down but i've just been you know researching something will just say look that up that looks different i haven't heard of that brand before i i thrift a lot so if there's something rare random to me i snatch it it kind of pays to slow down but sometimes it pays to just go and get what you can get you know i had no baby today and they were about to close so gotta take my chances i need tomorrow to be off i want to rest i want to fully rest i have so much good stuff to list guys so anyway those are my tips I'll do a recap. I'll put some stuff on the screen over here because that was a jumble. That's kind of how I think I'm all over the place, but it does pay off and I've gotten really good stuff like in a GIF, like literally 30 minutes or less. So, all right guys, be blessed and I'll see you next time. Bye. Open, you change. You change.